Okay, in this video, what we're going to be doing is making the uh, date and time, uh, how to pull the date and time through a GSV and use it for functional purposes. So first and foremost, we'll, uh, we'll start our 5000 and make a new project. This project will be a uh, emulator. So we're going to basically take it down to our studio uh, emulation. So we're going to put date and time. Just put date and time example and then click next and start our project. So at this point we'll take it to, uh, this would be version 28 because that's the processor I have. Uh, it's in slot 2 and then we'll just click finish to start it. The uh, version, the reason I went 28 is the emulator I have is 28. So if that, uh, that clears that up hopefully. And again I, you see it in slot 2 so um, it's currently what's uh, right there and that, that processor why it's starting up. So, uh, you know, as our, uh, our Studio 5000 designer is uh, starting up, what this is going to be doing is, again, uh, we'll kill, get rid of the splash screen because it, it's uh, brand new, right? Okay, so... Again, so now we have um, our example. We have everything coming are on. Um, you know, I, I like to change everything to periodic. So uh, let's go ahead and do that as far as the main task. Uh, it's just uh, what I do. So uh, in this instance, let's just call it uh, 75 for the sake of doing it. And then uh, what we'll do is if we're trying to pull the date and time uh, so right now what we'll, what we'll do is it will set the date and time if it's not already set so of course the this is an emulated processor right so um, then we're going to go and first and foremost we're going to go ahead and put a GSV and we'll actually we'll, let's, let's do this online right so let's actually go and uh, download this to the processor And that way we can we can show everything like real time. Okay, so there's absolutely nothing in this program, right? So, um, you know that that shows that from scratch. Okay, so now uh, again we're in. So let's put it in. Uh, okay, so at this point, uh, date and time again uh, will match it to. To basically uh, our pros our uh, computer, and then we'll come in here and make our first. Um, well, well, first off, we want to make a UDT. So um, we'll start a new one, and we'll call it. Um, date time, <clears throat> and then we'll add the first thing we want to add is year. Right. So we'll add year and then we'll do the data type and that's going to be a dent and then we'll do uh, month and again just dent and then we'll do day and dent so then we'll do uh, the hour then dent, do minute, then dent, that's our data type, and we'll do seconds, our second, and then we'll add that as a dent, and then we'll call this microseconds. Okay, so with all that in there, and that's a dent as well. So now we have our data type, right? So we'll hit apply. So we've got a homemade data type that we made. Uh, it's date and time. So now we'll come in here and we'll add our first rung. And we'll do a GSV. So we'll just basically double click and just type in GSV. Um, that's the simplest way to get it. 
we'll come in here to our class and then we want to we want to make sure we select what they call wall clock so wall clock time and then in that we're going to check the attribute so we want to check date and time and then we want to make our first tag right so we'll call this system timing and then on the data type what we'll do is we'll we'll go in and select the data type that we made so we'll, we'll call this date and time that's the data type we made right so we'll make that and then we'll make sure we put it in the as a a, a, a not a controller or we'll, we'll make it a controller scope tag not a not a program scope so we'll go ahead and make that And in that, you have to select your first thing you're starting off with. So in that case, it would be our year. Okay, so now we have all of our data in there. So uh, to see that, what we do is we can come in here to our systems and we can see the data populating. The day is the 17th. The hour um, is reading zero. The minute is 55. Uh, the month, six month, um, you know, so... We'll come in here and we can uh, use that so we can start using that data. So for that instance, we could uh, let's just uh, go ahead and make a couple bits um, just to show that being used. So let's just say we wanted to use let's just say we for for instance we wanted to use uh, a couple bits that are out of this right. So we we just basically drag this over. Um, not use year, but let's use something that would be flashing for that matter. So we can either use seconds and just use one of the bits from the seconds, right? Or in that case, we can do that. And then we, then we could say, uh, we can use this as like a, a flasher or let's just say, um, So we could do that, something like that, or we can sit here and use something like a little quicker if we wanted to. So let's add another rung and let's go in and let's check microseconds. So in microseconds, this is going to be a lot faster. Um, most likely probably not going to be able to see it as far as that goes. Um, what we can do to be able to see micro microseconds faster is we can come in here and make a dent and we can actually do a move and we can come in and add the microseconds in here just the whole word and then add a dent let's just call this uh, uh, we can just, just call it test dent and that way we have it and we'll, we'll actually throw up the binary in there so we'll change the style from what it naturally comes as is decimal to binary and that way you can see the whole thing happening so you, that way you can see all everything as the binary coded decimal is actually changing you can see that. So and that's based upon the microseconds. So as far as that goes, you know, now you can use you can use many different attributes in here. Um, you know, using the the wall clock feature and using the well, you really don't have to have uh, make a dent, or I'm sorry, make a uh, a user defined data type. If but it does make things a lot easier when you make that. Um, and the reason is, is those are the attributes that it's going to pull up anyway. But you don't have to for, for that matter. Um, I believe, like if we did it again, so GSV, uh, again, uh, wall clock, come in here and selected our attribute as the date and time. And then we could just make a tag that says, uh, like new our system timing 
without uh, data or UDT. So at that point, we'll just make that. So you can do that, but just know that it's not going to populate probably everything you want. So let's go to that. So again, this is just a dent, right? So, so there's there's a difference in, in what you're going to get out of this than what you're going to get out of this, right? So that there's there's a kind of a a variation in what what you can do, and you know, so what you can't do. Um, in seconds, like say if we did the same thing on this dent or on this uh, pushing this this test dent, if we change that to seconds. Can okay, we just change this to seconds instead of of uh, microseconds? Then you would see how slower that changes, and it's it's still going to be binary, right? So it's still going to be using the binary coded decimal, and the seconds is is coming in is you know that's coming in directly as a, a decimal. So that's something to kind of watch out for. But again, this is something that you can use. Um, you can put um, just as tests and stuff like that, if you just were doing te system testing and stuff, you could, you know, use stuff like this. Little tools like this is learn like learning how to do this kind of helps out. So especially using the uh, wall clock feature, um, you know, you can put timers in there. You can put, um, and you can use different bits as well. Like I think if we used like bit one. Come here, use bit one, and you'll see they'll actually index differently because this again is a binary coded decimal. So you got to kind of look at what you how you want to use it and stuff like that. My main focus right here was actually showing you how to how to get your date and time in and use a UDT and then pull in the data that you wanted to pull in. Right, so you'll have all your system data so you can know what month it is. You know, it's a six month, you know, obviously you can see the date and time right here is the six month day 16. Uh, of course, it's saying day 17. It's probably because my time, um, the date and time over here. Then it's showing that it's, uh, 2018, the seconds, the minutes um, that are the, yeah, minutes. And obviously, the, well, the day is this, the only thing that's seems to be a little bit off and that might be because I'm using the VM I'm not sure um, because the date and time actually let's let's take off let's change the date and time to Eastern said okay and the date let's make sure we change that so if we change that, Oh, so it's it's a day off. So we are having it, it may be something with again that may be something with the uh, it's on emulator and that may just may be something with that. So, uh, but naturally, if you're using a processor, all this data would be 100% true and it again it's pulling in everything like it's supposed to. So I I just want to show the um, show you a GSV and, and just a simple illustration of using one and stuff you can do with it so and I know that wasn't a, a very long uh, you know uh, video but again I just going to keep keep these kind of short and uh, make sure we you know just show some some value and stuff of like that and you know instead of you know searching out for you know for instructions and stuff like that you know just know you can type them up here too if you know what it is like uh, GSV you can just type it like that and it will pop up like say for instance if we wanted to change that we can just go back and change it to a SSV and we can write <clears throat> we can actually write a system value now so that that's very helpful too so um, again we'll, we'll end this and uh, I just wanted to, to kind of just make a video showing that and see if that was you know you guys find that helpful I know this is a pretty common thing so but uh, I know some people don't know it so you know why not throw it out there Okay, so I hope this helped, and uh, thank you again for your time, and uh, we'll be making more videos.